Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soders for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. Shut up, Helm... No, wait. You're not Helmut. Hey, bad form, dude. You stole my idea. Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate? How about, uh, I don't know, Jordan Cross? He's hot, right? Wow, this is super embarrassing. Uh, at least we don't attend the same social circles. <laughs> Shut up, we don't, right? I've, I've got connections. I can make you disappear for good! It's awesome, right? I mean, shut up. Don't I look like, uh, Hush or the Invisible Man? Or maybe, maybe Dark Man. Yeah, shut up. Totally Dark Man. <laughs> you look like the mummy. So what kind of work did you get? Nose bridge? Cleft chin? Can you keep a secret? Shut up. I'm being cut to look like Helmut Kruger. Yeah. Helmut Kruger? 
The model? Yeah, yeah, the one and only. I mean, you know, the resemblance was always there. People always used to tell me, I mean, you know that. They, they would tell me, hey, you look just like Helmut Kruger, and I'm like, shut up. But here I am, just sort of fulfilling a prophecy, I guess. I'm about to go meet my surgeon for a checkup, and I cannot wait to see what I look like underneath. But you're Jason Portman. The new face of Silicon Valley, Modem, called you the Golden Brain. <laughs> Your stock is soaring. Like, how will people react if you suddenly look like someone else? Shut up, you'll see. <laughs> Once the bandages come off, it's almost time. Oh, hey, Stacy. It's Jason Portman. Yeah, just hanging out in Japan. Did you get the snap I sent earlier? Shut up, invisible man. You shut up. That's a good one. No, seriously. No, I'm in the final stages of that thing we always talked about. Back when we were, uh, you know, uh, item. Krugerification, it's happening. It's actually happening. <laughs> Shut up! Yes! Two weeks from now! I could be the one on a podium in Paris, and nobody would know the difference! Cheekbones to die for! Cut glass, baby! Almost a shame you won't get to enjoy them, am I right? Am I right? Shut up, the gym? I don't have time for that. My good friends here have a plan for that as well. Full body graft, muscle implants, why wait for months or years when surgeons and endless amounts of money that I have can make it happen in weeks? Screw the natural way. That's the o Shut up, I bet you would. Maybe I'll call you when I get back to LA. Okay, we'll see. Bye, Stacy. Gonna nail that. So, are you doing yoga after this? Oh, I wish. Jason I had Portman. two lessons booked, but I just got informed Please come to the that I have been bumped entrance. back in the queue. Oh, and that's, that's got to be an error, right? You to Did you talk to the instructor? Well, that's that the was thing. I haven't actually seen Jason him all Portman. day. And then I asked one of the staff doctors and she checked the schedule. Your appointment. Turns out, all appointments Please are booked by to the hospital called entrance. Yuki Yamazaki. I mean, literally, all of the lessons. What kind of behavior is that? I would like to give her a piece of my mind. Yamazaki? No, 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 that's that's the Yakuza lawyer. W well, okay, whoa, whoa, you know what? Maybe you should just let sleeping dogs lie. If she wants something, 
You let her have it. Is that who she is? Well, that certainly changes things. Maybe you're right. Oh, she's a real piece of work, that one. I mean, maybe the instructor's gone into hiding because he's afraid of her. I mean, imagine having to instruct someone like that. One wrong move, and she'd toss you over the cliff. Yeah, not a pleasant woman, that one. Yeah, maybe I'll just do cardio instead. I think he overstretched or pulled a muscle or something. Uh, yeah, I guess that would explain it. There's a lot of annoyed people out there. That Yamazaki lady, the lawyer, she's really expressing her malcontent. Probably a good idea for him to stay out of her reach. Well, he's been walking around like that since this morning, so I'm pretty sure he's not going to be doing any routines with any of the guests. Well, what about you? Don't you have any uh, meds or, or tricks to fix him up? You're a doctor, after all. I'm a mortician. My patients don't get well, they get cremated. You don't know what a mortician is, do you? <laughs> Terry? Terry. Terry, it's John. Listen, I need your help, buddy. Well, I... I tried that pose we talked about, Destroyer of the Universe. Well, it sort of backfired. I was, oh, I was feeling so good this morning, too. I just felt so centered and so pure. And then the director came up and asked me to grab a lesson with Yuki Yamazaki, then a Yakuza lawyer who's staying here I told you about. Oh, bad karma, bad karma, man. Just terrible karma. Well, I'm not sure what happened exactly. I thought I had it, but then... Somehow I pulled something back there. No, back there. I can't walk very well now, and I've seen that Yamazaki woman stalking around the yoga platform, and I've been dodging calls from the director all morning, so I need, I just need a favor. I, I need you to call up the hospital, tell them you're my brother, make up some family emergency that I need to fly back home for right away. Why not? Mom won't find out. Terry, look, I know you're only 12. No, don't get Mom, Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. Damn it. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hello, Mother. No, no, no. Everything's fine here. Just, I was just chatting with my little bro, just talking about all his video games and all that fun stuff. He's, all his shoot 'em ups. We're cool. Listen, I've got to run, okay? Next appointment's here. Talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Okay, yes, yes, hello. Say hi to Dad. Okay, bye. Damn it!
or something. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson? Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. I'm glad you're here. If you will just follow me. Mr. Yoga? I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamasaki. Very well. Let's begin. Let us begin with upward facing dawn when you're ready. Guess who I'm out here with? That former Cicada pilot, Nails. Remember him from Shanghai? That's the one. He's still dealing, too. Yeah, I shit you not. 
I think he's making a decent bonus on supplying the VIPs here with under-the-counter merchandise. He flew in some important doctor. I'm pretty sure he's supplying him as well. Well, let's just say the doctor's been in a few consultations already, and he walks away looking very mellow. I know. Yeah, good thing I'm not the one having heart surgery. Nails, I, uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. My, uh, my, my father flew helicopters, you know. He was very, uh, um, very prudish. Here we are. Help yourself. Thanks, Nance. You're a champion. Easy does it, Doc. I'm, I'm fine. I can, I can take it. I just need a kick in the ass.
Hey, so you're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The, the guy's had a mood-altering neurochip implanted in his brain. So, so how does it work? Uh, does it work? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for my research paper. I'm following the trial closely, and with a little luck, he'll be the basis for my doctorate. All I can say is that I've got a very interesting bit of insight into his mental state. Fine, fine. I'll just have to ask you again when we're drunk. It's me. Are the final details in place? Oh, well, he was very handsomely rewarded. Not that he fully understood the rarity of the boy's magnificent heart, of course. <laughs> oh, that goes without saying. I do still wish we'd be able to put it into someone, well, younger, frankly. There are only so many years left in the old man, after all. <laughs> Such is the nature of my art. I take and I give. Perhaps once Soda's body has given up, I can recollect the heart? There's a certain poetry to that, I think. Oh, no, that's for another time. We'll talk again. I think I saw you working through the night a few days ago. Yeah, I come to work happy every day. It's... That's honestly why I spent so much time here. 16-hour workdays seem like a gift at Gamma. Another six years or so, and I'll be through my training. It can be difficult to stay focused. Believe me, I know all about it. <laughs> but if you keep doing your best and let the distractions fade from your life, you will succeed like I have. <laughs> I humbly appreciate everything you are doing for me. I will not let you down. Very well. Oh, I need to go check on some things. Uh, uh, back later. That is the right-sided donor heart destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. It's Ito. You called earlier. Uh, just the usual things. Uh, organs coming in, curation, distribution. Was there something particular you wanted? Oh, it's fine. The headache stopped a few weeks ago. I feel like we're reaching a good place with the dosage. I, I, I still need to adjust it myself once in a while, but... It's been hard to find the time. I know the reports are important, and that there is a small, shall we say, backlog, but uh, I am getting to it. <laughs> How is the control group holding up? Really? Oh, she seemed like the most stable of the chimps. What happened? I see. And the assistant? I assume he was let go. The river. <laughs> it never would have to Wolverine. Harsh, but fair, I suppose. Well, how anyone could mistake that for a TV remote is beyond me. You really must work harder on getting quality staff. You. <laughs> no, nobody will be able to accidentally play around with my remote. It's safely tucked away in my bunk here at Gamma. Don't worry. Hmm. Well, in short, everything is running smoothly here. The chip works, dosage is nearly there. We should be ready for human trials soon. I have to run. Cherry Pip! Ah, this really is the life, isn't it? <laughs> Glistening organs, peace and quiet. I worked very hard to get here. Six more years of internship and I'll have one of the best resumes on the market. Not that I'd need it, of course. I mean, I'd never leave Gamma. 
Every moment here is a, is a joy. Performing with excellence is the ideal we all strive towards here at Gamma. If we all do the best we can, there is nothing that cannot be done. Our craft is the most noble of them all. I understand. Thanks for your advice. Good man. All right, I need to check on some emails. Oh, I'm getting a bit tired. I really hope something will happen soon. Well, I don't really. Quiet is good in our line of work. Sometimes I just need a, you know, a little bit of action, just a tiny bit. Nothing dangerous, but enough to make something happen, you know, if you know what I mean. Guess I shouldn't tempt fate. Well, I don't know what to say. I really don't. You know, let's just focus on the job, and the job is to keep an eye on this heart. It's almost poetic. The protectors of the heart. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Soda's on the operating table, and no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time, you have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following in his footsteps. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs. Killing our operatives. And making the ICA look like fools. I think you... got close to that someone. Closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you... to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. 
You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment. But he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. <laughs>